guest lecture series on sustainable development goals for today, Tuesday, January 12, 2021. I'm Rainy from ETS Global Engagement and will be your uh, master of ceremony of this morning. Thank you for joining our GLS SDG session today. And before we start our agenda, let me inform you about the webinar protocol. First, Please adjust your name or ID screen using format name underscore NRP. And second, during the lecture, please turn on mute mode and only turn on the audio when the moderator gives the change. Third, please fill your attendance at bit.ly slash attendance underscore uh, GLS SDGs. Our committee also send the attendance link in the Zoom chat, Zoom chat room. And for participant who is to ask question during the question and answer session, please send your question to intip.in slash Q&A GLS SDGs. The link for question listed in the chat room too or you can ask directly by clicking the right hand feature. Before we proceed to the next agenda, allow me to deliver our schedule for today as a follow. First, opening. Second, presentation session by Pro Associate Professor Tatsuya Umeki. Third, feedback review and question and answer session. Fourth, certificate awarding. And last is closing. Today's session theme is about introduction to carbon dioxide car capture and utilization in Japan, which will be delivered by our speaker, Associate Professor Tatsuya Umeki from Saga University, Japan, and Dr. Agung Purniawan from ITS will be the one conducting today's session as our moderator. Okay, next, Dr. Agung currently working as the lecturer of the Department of Materials and, Metallurg and Metallurgy Engineering. He also a chairman of Research Center of Advanced Materials and Nanotechnology. He achieved his bachelor degree from ITS, master degree from University Technology Malaya, Malaysia, and his doctoral degree from the University of Technology, Netherlands. Without further ado, let's proceed to the main agenda. To Dr. Agung Purniawan as our moderator, all the time and place is yours. Okay, um, wait a moment, please. Okay, thank you very much, Uriani, uh, for introduction. And yeah, today we have uh, very nice speakers, uh, Prof. Tatsua Umeki. Uh, he's uh, from uh, Saga University. Uh, from uh, educa educational background, uh, master degree from uh, Department of Earth System uh, Science in Fukuoka University, Japan and Dr. Degree, Department of uh, Chemistry of uh, Tohoku University, Japan. And uh, he also has a uh, uh, very uh, good experience, uh, work experience uh, as associate. Uh, okay, start from 2003 to 2004, postdoctoral uh, researcher in uh, national Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, IEST Japan, fixed term as assistant professor in Chuo University, Tokyo, Japan, from uh, 2004 till 2006, 2006 until 2011, postdoctoral research in uh, National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, uh, Japan. And uh, 2011 and until 2016 as assistant professor in Saga University, and uh, now is uh, associate professor in Saga University, Japan. Uh, expertise and uh, recent interest of uh, Prof. 
Tatsuya Umeki is a solution chemistry and physical chemistry. Um, okay, and today uh, he will share with us his uh, expertise uh, about uh, carbon dioxide capture and utilization in Japan. So uh, let's we learn uh, from Prof. Tatsuke Umeki uh, about this uh, topic, this nice uh, topic related to uh, current uh, issue for uh, uh, energy and also green uh, energy, uh, eco-friendly uh, issue and another issue about this. Okay, uh, Prof. Uh, Umeki, uh, now uh, time is yours. Hello, Prof. Hello. Umeki? Yeah. Now you can start your presentation. Okay. Uh, thank you to organizer and staff for inviting me to the guest lecture. Okay. Oh. I'm honored to uh, be. Prof. Prof. Meki, do you have uh, any presentation? Drop. Yeah, Can you hear my yes, voice? Prof. Umeki. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear your voice. Uh, yeah. Sorry for interrupt uh, your session, but uh, can you start to share your PPT now? Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I don't. I, I. Uh, okay. Uh, just, just a moment. Uh, Okay, I already said, you can share now. Yeah. Yeah, now you can share. Okay. May I share? No? Not, not yet. Okay. okay. Can you try again? Can you see my, pre uh, my presentation file? Uh, not yet. Not yet. All right. Just a moment. Okay, yes, now it's okay. Okay. I can see it. Yeah. 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 Uh, thank you to the organizer and the moderator for inviting me to the guest lecture. Uh, I'm honored to be able to give a lecture. I have to first say to audience, I'm not very familiar with online meetings. Please stay with me for about an hour. And I'm sorry because my presentation sometimes contains Japanese. Okay. Uh, I work in solution and physical chemistry field. You know that the reduction of amount of carbon dioxide emitted in air is one of global issues. I think that carbon dioxide is one of very important materials in modern science. To capture carbon dioxide in liquid solution, a group is studying on elucidation of mechanism of reaction between carbon dioxide and base mat materials and de development of new functional liquid. Today, I would like to talk under this title. <coughs> there are three topics in my talk. 
First is about the important properties of carbon dioxide from the standpoint of environmental chemistry. Second is about absorption and dis desorption of carbon dioxide with liquid solution by uh, chemical reaction and physical phenomena as carbon dioxide capture. Third is um, about transformation and solvent medium of carbon dioxide as uh, utilization. I will introduce some examination of carbon dioxide capture and use in Japan. Then we, free, uh, we will work on the reduction on the amount of carbon dioxide emptied in air. First of all, we have to fully understand the fundamental properties of carbon dioxide itself. This figure is phase diagram of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide shows gaseous states at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. At normal pressure, carbon dioxide has sublimation point minus at minus uh, 78.5 degrees C. At atmospheric pressure, carbon dioxide changes from solid state to gaseous state. We can never see liquid carbon dioxide in beakers or test tubes. Triple point of carbon dioxide is minus 56.6 degrees C and 5.1 atom. At higher pressure, liquid carbon dioxide appears. For carbon dioxide, melting from solid state to liquid state and evaporation from liquid state to gaseous state occurs at higher pressure and temperature than the triple point. Critical point of carbon dioxide is 31 degrees C and 72.8 atom. At higher pressure and temperature than critical point, carbon dioxide shows supercritical state. The melting of carbon dioxide from liquid state to gaseous state never happens. Supercritical carbon dioxide is one of green solvents as well as water and ion liquid. The advantage of using carbon dioxide as a supercritical fluid is that carbon dioxide becomes supercritical state under mild temperature and pressure conditions. Supercritical carbon dioxide has low viscosity and high diffusivity. This is convenient when carbon dioxide is used as a reaction and extraction solvent. As I just talked, carbon dioxide is in gaseous states at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. Supercritical carbon dioxide is changed to gaseous state by reducing the pressure. This is also a good point of carbon dioxide in the removal operation in reaction and extraction processes. The left figure shows secular change of carbon dioxide concentration in atmospheric air of Japan. A few years ago, carbon dioxide concentration in atmospheric air exceeded 400 ppm. The major reason why carbon dioxide increases year by year is considered to be two factors. One is the use of fossil fuels. Other is the deforestation 
with land use change. The secular change of carbon dioxide concentration of the left figure indicates uh, that carbon dioxide concentration increase with periodic uh, fluctuation. The right figure shows the change in carbon dioxide concentration of Japan in 2018. Carbon dioxide concentration are relatively high in winter and spring season and lower in summer and autumn season. As you can presume, this seasonal variation is related to photosynthesis of plant in nature. The increase in carbon dioxide in summer and autumn season is slightly suppressed by the increase in the photosynthesis of plant in nature. The upper figure is a infrared absorption spectrum of carbon dioxide. In general, molecular vibrates such as expansion and contraction of chemical bonds. Some of such vibration motion of molecule absorb the light in infrared region. The lower table is absorption feature of carbon dioxide in infrared region. In the case of carbon dioxide molecule, two vibration motion of asymmetric stretching vibration 2349 per centimeter and uh, bending vibration um, 667 per centimeter. The infrared absorption due to the former asymmetric stretching vibration of carbon dioxide is very strong. Carbon dioxide is one of well-known gas, uh, greenhouse gases. This is because carbon dioxide molecule absorbs strongly the infrared light and the carbon dioxide itself warms up. Thus, the infrared absorption of carbon dioxide has a great influence on global warming. On the other hand, we can know the exact concentration of carbon dioxide in atmospheric air using the infrared absorption feature of carbon dioxide molecule. The left photograph is the system of measuring carbon dioxide concentration in atmospheric air in Yonaguni Island of Japan. This system is non-dispersive infrared analyzer. Atmosphere with carbon dioxide is uh, injected uh, into this sample cell. Carbon dioxide at no concentration is in this reference cell. The infrared light at wavelengths of 4.26 micrometer from this source uh, incident to these cells. The wavelengths of 4.26 micrometer corresponds to the wave number of 2349 per centimeter of the asymmetric stretching vibration and motion. The infrared light is absorbed by carbon dioxide molecule in the cell. The absorption of the infrared light is proportional to carbon dioxide concentration. The remaining infrared light passes through the cell and the intensities of the infrared light are measured with this detector. 
Carbon dioxide concentration is determined by comparing the intensities of infrared light between sample and reference series. <coughs> this figure is brief overview of the related technology of carbon dioxide to reduce carbon dioxide concentration in atmospheric air. Carbon dioxide capture and utilization of my talk are here and here, respectively. Carbon dioxide capture is technology that carbon dioxide from the exhaust gas emitted from power plant and chemical plant is selectivity caught into solid and liquid absorbers. The exhaust gas without carbon dioxide is ejected into atmospheric air. Carbon dioxide in the absorber is then released to obtain high purity carbon dioxide. The absorber is regenerated by releasing carbon dioxide and reused to catch carbon dioxide from the exhaust gas again. Carbon dioxide utilization is technology that the collected high purity carbon dioxide is used as a starting material to transformation into other variable molecules and as solvent medium without any transformation. Methanol is one of well-known molecules produced from carbon dioxide by catalysis. This is my opinion. In the future, there may be a cycle of capture and utilization of carbon dioxide be because methanol can be used as a liquid fuel. Next is about absorption and desorption of carbon dioxide. The left figure shows the amount of carbon dioxide emitted in Japan in 2017. The emission amount of carbon dioxide in 2017 was about 1.19 billion ton. Over 80% of the emission amount of carbon dioxide comes from energy conversion such as uh, refineries and power plants from industries such as factory and transportation such as automobiles. The exhaust gas with carbon dioxide is emitted from various facilities. The concentration of carbon dioxide contained in the exhaust gas greatly depend on the emission source. The light figure shows the amount of carbon dioxide emitted in Japan in 2017. For example, the exhaust gas emitted from chemical plant contains 30 to 50% of carbon dioxide. This is relatively high concentration. On the other hand, the exhaust gas emitted from thermal plant station contains 7 to 14% of carbon dioxide. This is relatively low concentration. There are some methods for catching and releasing carbon dioxide in the absorbers depending on the concentration of carbon dioxide. Here, I introduce two typical methods of chemical and physical absorption. The principle and condition of the chemical and physical absorption is listed in the table. The principle of the chemical absorption method is chemical reaction.
even if the concentration of carbon dioxide in gas phase is low, carbon dioxide can be caught into the absorber at normal pressure and temperature due to the chemical reaction. However, the chemical reaction to catch carb capture carbon dioxide becomes bad point in the release process. The chemical reaction in the capture process means that a new chemical bond is formed between carbon dioxide and the absorber. To release carbon dioxide from the absorber, therefore, certain energy is required for the breaking of the chemical bond. The release of carbon dioxide from the absorber in the chemical absorption method is generally performed under high temperature conditions. On the other hand, the principle of the physical absorption method is the solution phenomena of carbon dioxide by pressurization. In my case, the solubility, solubility of gas in liquid solution increased with the increase in pressure and concentration of gas in the gas phase. Carbon dioxide also falls under this case. In many cases, the solubility of gas in liquid solution the this physical absorption method is useful for catching carbon dioxide at high concentration in gas phase. The physical absorption uh, carbon dioxide into absorber is performed under high pressure condition. The pressure operation is bad point in the capture process but good point in the release process. Carbon dioxide can be easily released from the absorber by reducing the pressure. New figure is a simple illustration diagram showing the relationship between chemical and physical absorption. The horizontal axis of this figure is partial pressure of carbon dioxide. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide has uh, the meaning as the concentration of carbon dioxide in gas phase. The vertical axis of this figure is absorbed amount of carbon dioxide in the absorber. In lower concentration region, absorbed amount of carbon dioxide with the chemical absorption method is larger than that is the physical absorption method due to the chemical reaction. In higher concentration region, however, the absorbed amount of carbon dioxide with the chemical absorption method plateau. This is because the concentration of the absorber is finite. The absorbed amount of carbon dioxide with the physical absorption method increased in proportion to the pressure in the gas phase. In general, the law in which the chemistry uh, concentration of the gas dissolved in liquid phase is proportional to the partial pressure in the gas phase is called Henry's law. According to Henry's law, as uh, the pressure in the gas phase increases, the concentration of gas dissolved in liquid phase increases. Its slope is expressed by a constant called the Henry's constant. The smaller the Henry's constant, the higher the solubility of gas in liquid phase. <coughs> the higher concentration regions of absorbed amount of carbon dioxide with the physical absorption method become larger than that with the chemical absorption method. Therefore, there is not best method for ca capture and release of carbon dioxide 
and the appropriate absorption method is selected according to the concentration of carbon dioxide in gas phase. The liquid solution for the physical absorption is listed in this table. These liquid solutions are actually used and developed in Japan. The common feature of the upper four liquids and messy pyrrhodon, methanol, uh, dimethyl ether, polyethylene glycol, polypropylene carbonate, is that the molecules have one or more oxygen atom, as well as carbon and hydrogen atom. The upper four liquid in this table, the organic compound and has Volatility. The volatility as liquid solution for the physical absorption in the merit. About 20 years ago, I am liquid as liquid solution for the physical absorption has been studied. The typical iron liquid has extreme low volatility, and they are one category of green solvents as well as water and supercritical fluids. Next, I introduce the work of the research group of National Institute of Advanced Industry and Science and Technology, ARST, in Japan. This table summarizes the selectivity property of the liquid solution for various gases. The liquid solutions for the physical absorption have higher selectivity to carbon dioxide than hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon monoxide, methane, ethane, and ethylene. The carbon atom of carbon dioxide has a partially positive charge, and the oxygen atom has partially negative charge. Physical absorption of carbon dioxide in the liquid solution is achieved by the attractive intermolecular interaction between carbon dioxide and the absorber. In the upper three liquid system, the carbon atom with partially positive charge of carbon dioxide molecule interact, interacts with the oxygen atoms with partially negative charge of the absorbers. The composition formula C2H2 is acetylene. The selectivity of the liquid solution to acetylene is special case. Acetylene molecule has a triple bond in the molecule. Due to this, acetylene has high chemical reactivity. The absorption of acetylene into the liquid solution is considered to be caused by chemical reaction of acetylene with the absorber. The upper left figure is the result of the physical absorption with ion liquid. The horizontal axis of this figure is partial pressure in gas phase. The vertical axis is the concentration of gas absorbed in the absorber. The figure shows the solubility of gases in an liquid for five gases. The an liquid show in the figure is one bushel, three methylimidazolium hexafluorophosphate. The structure of one bushel 3 massive miazolium hexafluorophosphate and liquid is shown in the here. As I already told, the solubility of gas in liquid solution increases linearly as the partial pressure in gas phase increases. The slope in this plot of partial pressure against the concentration of gas is 
expressed by the reciprocal of Henry's constant. The right table is summarize the Henry's constant for physical absorption of 10 different gases in the ionic liquid. And it's constant for carbon dioxide in one BCC emission in the dream hexafluorophosphate is 6.883. This Henry's constant of carbon dioxide is lower than those of other gases. Carbon dioxide is found to be one of the gases which can be dissolved at low pressure. Not all ionic liquids are excellent in the physical absorption of carbon dioxide. Left figure is the result of the physical absorption of carbon dioxide with three different ionic liquids. The horizontal and vertical axis of this figure uh, partial pressure in partial pressure in gas phase and the concentration of gas absorbed respectively. The ion liquid anion is the same. The ion liquid cation uh, one alkyl C messy metrium. The alkyl groups are different. The BMIM cation is the same as before. The BMIM cation is has bushel group C C4H9. HMIM and OMIM cation has hexyl group C6A30 and oxygen group C8H70 respectively. The left figure shows the physical absorption of carbon dioxide hardly change when the alkyl groups of the unglycid cation is extended to brucyl hexyl and oxyl groups. The effect of ion liquid cation on the physical absorption of carbon dioxide is very small. Light figure is a result of the physical absorption of carbon dioxide with seven different ion liquid. The cation of the ion liquid is one bushel three mesh metrium. The ion liquid anion are different as shown in here. The light figure shows the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed in the ion liquid changes significantly depending on the anion structure. There are ion liquid that have larger amount absorption amount of carbon dioxide than one bushel three mesh metrium hexafluorophosphate ion liquid. The effect of ion liquid anion of, on the physical absorption of carbon dioxide seems to be large. The common point of the ion liquid with larger absorption amount of carbon dioxide is that the anion has one or more fluorine atom. The introduction of trifluoromethyl group CH3 into the anion effectively increases the absorbed amount of carbon dioxide. The physical absorption of carbon dioxide is the ion liquid indicates high selectivity to carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is physically dissolved into the ion liquid. The physical absorption means that carbon dioxide does not form new chemical bonds with cation and anion in the ion liquid. The left figure is a larger distribution function of the solution of 1-3-methyl-inosurium hexafluorophosphate ion liquid and carbon dioxide. Explanation of the larger distribution function is omitted but the new peaks appears um, at three to four 
Angstrom in the larger distribution function. The larger distribution function of the experimental result can be well reproduced by the configuration in the upper right figure. The carbon atom with partially positive charge or carbon dioxide molecule interacts with the fluorine atom with partially negative charge of anion in the ion liquid. This is also consistent with the fact that the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed into the ion liquid is sensitive to the fluorine atom of anion. The interatomic inter attraction between partially positive charge of carbon dioxide molecule and partially negative charge of absorber is key factor for the physical absorption of carbon dioxide with not only organic compounds, but also the ion liquid. <clears throat> the liquid solution for the chemical absorption is listed in this table. There are two chemical absorption methods. One is Benfield method with aqueous solution of potassium carbonate at high concentration of about 30 to 40 percent. According to the lower chemical reaction, carbonate anion in water react with carbon dioxide to form bicarbonate anion. Other, an, other is army method is with aqueous solution of army compound at about 30%. The alkanol amine is amine compound with hydroxy group OH and often used for the chemical absorption of carbon dioxide. This is because the alkanol amine have high solubility in water and low volatility. The chemical absorption of carbon dioxide in aqueous amine solution is performed at slightly higher temperature than room temperature and under uh, atmospheric pressure. On the other hand, the desorption of carbon dioxide from the aqueous solution is performed with overheated steam. The field method is previously used for the chemical absorption of carbon dioxide. At present, army method is measured to the field method because the energy for the release of carbon dioxide from the liquid solution is lower in army method than the field method. The chemical reaction in army method will be described later. Army structure and acid dissociation constant pKa of eight different ions compound for the chemical absorption of carbon dioxide are shown here. Amine compound that derivative of ammonia at have one or more nitrogen atom with partially negative charge. Amine are classified into primary amine, NH2, secondary amine, NH, and uh, tertiary amine and according to the number of hydrogen atom bond to nitrogen atom. Monoethanol amine, MEA, <coughs> is the most typical amine for the chemical absorption of carbon dioxide. The aqueous solution of 30% MEA is often used as a benchmark. The relatively small pKs of MDEA and DEA are due to the electron accepting property of two hydroxy group of a molecule. Strictly speaking, the electron of the unshared electron pair of the nitrogen atom of the amino group is attracted to the hydroxy group 
the so that the partial partially negative charges of nitrogen atom decreases. The relatively large PKs of IPEE, EAE, TEEA are caused by the increase in partially negative charges of nitrogen atom due to the electro donating property of alkyl groups of the molecule. Uh, understanding of the mechanism of the reaction between carbon dioxide and amine is very important to design the liquid solution for the chemical absorption of chem carbon dioxide. The chemical reaction between carbon dioxide and alkanol amine generally depends on the series of amine, amino groups in the alkanol amine molecule that is primary secondary and tertiary ion. The Zwitter ion mechanism is two-step reaction. In the case of primary and secondary amine, firstly, Zwitter ion is formed by the reaction of uh, by the reaction of carbon dioxide with amine. Then the Zwitter ion reacts with alkanol amine to form aminium cation and Carbamate and ion. <coughs> this mechanism of the Twitter ion formation is that the for carbon atom of carbon dioxide is bonded to the unshared electron pair of the nitrogen atom of the alkanol amine. Next, the unshared electron pair of the nitrogen atom of the unreacted alkanol amine abstracted. Proton H plus from the Twitter ion. As a result, the aminium cation and the carbamate anion are formed. Moreover, the carbamate anion reacts with the water molecule to form bicarbonate anion. This mechanism of the hydroxis is that bicarbonate anion is hydrolyzed by proton H plus of water molecule to form alkanol amine and hydroxide anion. Then the carbon atom of carbon dioxide is bonded to the unshared electron pair of the carbon uh, oxygen atom of the hydroxide anion. As a result, the bicarbonate anion is formed. The reaction of carbon dioxide with monoethanol amine, MEA of primary, Amine is a former mechanism of the formation of Zwitter ion. The amino group in the alkanol amine is tertiary. The new chemical bond cannot be formed between carbon dioxide and alkanol amine due to the presence of substituent groups near nitrogen atom of the alkanol amine. In the case of tertiary amine, firstly, the alkanol amine molecule reacts with the water molecule to form aminium cation and hydroxide, hydroxide anion. The bicarbonate anion is formed by the reaction of the hydroxide anion with carbon dioxide. This reaction mechanism is that the unshared electron pair of the nitrogen atom of the unreacted alkanol amine abstracts proton H plus flow from water molecule to home aminium cation and hydroxide anion. The formation of the bicarbonate anion from hydroxide anion is the same as the hydroxis mechanism. The carbon atom of carbon dioxide is bonded to the unshared electron pair of the oxygen atom of the hydroxide anion. This is a photograph of the carbon dioxide capture plant attached to the Sagacity Waste Disposable Factory. This plant has been in operation since August 2016. The carbon dioxide capture plant attached to the waste dispose, disposal factory is a rare case in Japan. <clears throat> 
The combustion gas with carbon dioxide comes from the left figure, uh, left right, uh, lower right of the photograph. The higher tower, uh, tower in the photograph is a reactor to catch carbon dioxide from the combustion gas. In this reactor, the upward flowing carbon dioxide in the combustion gas react with a downward flowing liquid solution. <coughs> the absorption solution is sent to lower tower in the photograph. The lower tower is a reactor to release carbon dioxide from the absorption solution. In this reactor, the downward flowing absorption solution is heated by the upward flowing steam. The released carbon dioxide is stored in the tank at the lower left to the photograph. As I stated before, the army method is major chemical absorption of carbon dioxide at present. Although the chemical absorption of carbon dioxide with army method has been put to practical use, there are some problems with the army method. First is uh, the energy required to release carbon dioxide from the absorption solution is large. This is due to the strong chemical bond formed between carbon dioxide and army molecules. Second is the evaporation of the solvent water with a repeated use. The heating is an essential operation to release carbon dioxide from the absorption solution. However, at the same time, the heating rises the evaporation of solvent water. The evaporation of water is also closely related to the first problem of the consumption energy. In other words, The thermal energy is used not only for the breaking of the chemical bond, but also for the evaporation of water. If there is no evaporation of the solvent, the consumption energy should be lower. In recent years, to reduce the consumption energy in release process and suppress the evaporation of solvent, the chemical absorption with in that amines, a solute, and with ionic liquid and organic molecular liquid as solvent has have been studied. The upper left figure shows the molecular structure of MEA and two amino two methyl one propanol AMP. AMP molecule has bulky uh, methyl group around the amino group and the space around the nitrogen atom is limited unlike MEA molecule. AMP is one of the hindered amine. When carbon dioxide reacts with amine, the new chemical bond is formed between carbon dioxide and the amine. In the reaction with MEA, uh, a strong chemical bond can be formed between the carbon atom of carbon dioxide and nitrogen atom of amine because the space around the nitrogen atom of MEA is open. In the reaction with hindered amine AMP, on the other hand, the relatively weaker chemical bond is formed between the carbon atom of carbon dioxide and nitrogen atom of amine. This is because the space around the nitrogen atom of AMP is limited due to the presence of two massive groups. The weakening of the chemical bond between carbon dioxide and amine compound lead to the lowering of the thermal energy in the 
release process. In the fact, the researchers of Japanese company have succeeded in the reduction of consumption energy in the release process by using in that arm. This. Our group is studying the chemical absorption of carbon dioxide with non aqueous and ionic liquid solution. I will not talk about our result. If you are interested in the new liquid solution for the chemical absorption of carbon dioxide, please contact me directly. Next is about utilization of carbon dioxide. <coughs> Chemical utilization of carbon dioxide is important not only for improving the efficiency of atoms, but also for carbon dioxide fixation. Urea and salicylic acid are synthesis on a large scale by the a reaction of carbon dioxide with ammonia and uh, phenol respectively. Globally, the a new amount of uh, carbon dioxide used to produce urea, uh, methanol, and cyclic carbonate are uh, approximately um, 82.04 billion kilograms respectively. Cyclic carbonates are very basalite compound. For example, acid carbonate is one of well-known cyclic carbonates. Acid carbonate is used as an aprotic for a solvent and as starting materials for the synthesis of various organic compounds. <coughs> Previously, acid carbonate was synthesis from phosphine as a starting material. Phosphine is a usual compound as a car carbonylating agent because it can be easily produced from carbon, carbon monoxide and chlorine molecules. However, there is problem that phosphine is highly corrosive. Ethylene carbonate is produced by cycloaddition reaction of carbon dioxide with ethylene oxide in the presence of carbonation catalysis. The catalysis of ethylene carbonate from, the, from carbon dioxide and ethylene oxide has already been established as an alternative to the synthesis from oxygen and ethylene glucose. Ethylene carbonate is used as an aprotic polar solvent in lithium ion secondary battery. According to data from 10 years ago, the annual production of ethylene carbonate is 10 or more million kilograms in Japan. The production of carbonate ester by reaction of methanol with phenol is successful example of practical application by Asahika Sei of Japan. The licensed technology is used industrial in the world. Carbon dioxide is used in the first step is the production of polycarbonates. As previously stated, carbon dioxide react with ethylene carbonate to home ethylene carbonate. The advantages of this process is that by product uh, the starting material. For example, diphenyl uh, carbonate DPC is made from um, dimethyl carbonate DMC and phenol. Methanol is uh, byproduct in the reaction of DMC with phenol. The physical utilization of carbon dioxide is closely linked to our lives. Typical examination of physical utilization of carbon dioxide are listed in the table. The common examination of physical utilization of carbon dioxide are cooling and forming agent. 
you know that the dry ice of the cooling agent is solid carbon dioxide. The mixture of carbon dioxide with water is known as carbonic acid, and it is used in the forming of beer and soft drink. This is due to the fact that carbon dioxide is harmless to humans. In addition, carbon dioxide can be also used as an extinguished agent for oil and electric fires. Uh, this. Thus, solid and gaseous carbon dioxide is closely related to our lives. In the manufacturing industry, supercritical carbon dioxide is often used. As is clear in the table, carbon dioxide is a substance used in many ways and the physical utilization. In recent years, supercritical carbon dioxide has been used as a heat pump refrigerant. Previously, chlorofluorocarbon CFC and its analogous directive has been widely used as refrigerant due to their excellent thermodynamic properties. However, from the viewpoint of protecting the ozone layer and preventing Global warming, nature refrigerants exists in nature is attracting attention. Carbon dioxide has big advantage of being non-tox and non-flammable, summer stable and inert. This figure is a scheme view of the heat pump hot water supply system with carbon dioxide as natural refrigerant developed by Denso Corporation of Japan. The heat pump hot water supply system is called EcoCute in Japan. This system consists uh, evaporator, a compressor, heat exchanger for water, and expansion valve. Briefly speaking, gaseous carbon dioxide takes heat from the air in evaporator. Then carbon dioxide change from the gaseous state to supercritical state due to complex compression and the accompanying heat. Supercritical carbon dioxide gives heat to water by a heat exchanger and carbon dioxide change from supercritical state to gaseous state. Again, gaseous carbon dioxide takes heat from the air in the evaporator. Heat in and out is repeated as a change in the state of carbon dioxide. In recent years, there is a demand for food without specific ingredient. Carbon dioxide is harmless to humans and can be obtained at a low cost. Carbon dioxide is stable as an extraction solvent in the food field. The left figure shows a scheme, schematic diagram of the process of extracting neutral lipid and cholesterol from egg yolk with supercritical carbon dioxide. The plant consists of a carbon, carbon dioxide tank, a pressure pump, pressure valve, heater, extraction tank, uh, expansion valve, separation tank, and condenser. Neutral lipid and cholesterol are dissolved in supercritical carbon dioxide in the extraction. Carbon dioxide with lipid and cholesterol change from supercritical state to gaseous state with depressurizing the accompanying cooling. Soon after carbon dioxide is separated 
from the lipid and cholesterol in the separation tank. Carbon dioxide change from the gaseous state to liquid state with cooling in the condenser. <coughs> liquid carbon dioxide is reused as an extraction sol solvent. The right figure is a comparison result of the composition of egg yolk before and after the extraction with carbon dioxide. By the extraction with carbon dioxide, lipid and cholesterol are almost eliminated and the composition of protein and phospholipids increases relatively. Finally, I will introduce an example of fine particle production. <coughs> this figure is a scheme view of the production process of the fine particle by cosmetic company of Japan. The raw materials for the fine particle is reserved in supercritical carbon dioxide in the reactor. The reactor. Then the pressure of the system is reduced by slowly releasing supercritical carbon dioxide solution from nozzle. The raw material for fine particle in supercritical carbon dioxide cannot be finally dissolved and the fine particles are produced. The fine particle produced with supercritical carbon dioxide solvent is used in cosmetic product. The key technology is the change in the solubility of substances due to the change in the state of carbon dioxide not only in the fine particle production, but also in the lipid extraction. Thank you for your kind, uh, your kind attention. Finished. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for a very nice uh, topic for today. Uh, uh, from uh, Prof. Umeki, yeah. Yeah. also nice presentation and yeah, very deep uh, uh, knowledge in uh, capture, yeah, carbon dioxide capture and utilization. Okay, um, now we go to uh, next uh, session, which is a question and answer question. Uh, before uh, we offer to uh, participants, I have a question, Prof. Meki. Uh, yeah, this just general question. Um, what is uh, actually a challenge to uh, develop this technology related to material aspect or this process or how to capture or something related to this technology? Um, yeah, uh, I asked about what is challenge, what is challenge uh, to develop this technology? In our laboratory? Mm, yeah, um, you explain about the properties of uh, carbon dioxide and also the uh, uh, capture absorption and uh, desorption of uh, uh, carbon dioxide and also utilization. Uh, I ask about what challenge? Challenge. Challenge, that's right. In, in which part? Oh, a challenge to, to develop this material, I mean, this technology. Sorry? Uh, in which part, in the world part, in the world topic that you already explained, that yeah. we, if you want to develop or you want to uh, learn or make some uh, uh, develop this uh, technology like that you uh, explained, uh, in which part that we want to concentrate, I mean, emphasis or we. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh about this technology, I mean, the challenge for this technology. Can you get my point? 
Is there a question about the challenge of our laboratory? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 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 なんかゼミでなんか質問が困ったことがあったらなんか日本語であそう<笑>すいません sorry, sorry. 私の日本語はあんまりそんなに<笑>困くじないけど、yeah. なんかあの質問は多分日本で一番難しいなんかところは何ですかなんかこのこの機械とかこのテクノロジーというか Yeah. In the world? Uh, Just a moment. Can I see my five? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Iowa, uh, our group is studies uh, carbon dioxide capture. Uh, so, uh, I don't know uh, the detail we study. Of carbon dioxide utilization. But uh, carbon dioxide capture uh, is, has been uh, used in practical use. So uh, uh, So uh, the army method is uh, uh, widely used in Japan and overseas. But, uh, sorry, the uh, difficult point is that uh, the connection uh, between CO2 capture technology and CO2 utilization. It, it is very, very difficult. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so uh, in carbon dioxide utilization technology, uh, uh, methanol, uh, formic acid, and and so on is uh, produced uh, by catalysis reaction. So uh, catalysis is developed day by day. It is developed by the uh, new uh, catalysis is uh, uh, Appear. So she, uh, each of carbon dioxide capture and carbon dioxide utilization is um, the established the technology uh, established uh, already. Uh, 
So uh, as I already stated, uh, difficult point is uh, the connected carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide utilization. It is uh, carbon. Uh, it is a uh, manage of carbon dioxide technology. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much, uh, Prof. Umeki. Okay, uh, now I offer to participant. Uh, please uh, raise your hand if you want to ask related to this presentation. Are there any questions? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I'm Engineer Johnny Garcia from St. Louis University, uh, Philippines, and I would like um, to ask Sir Omeki regarding the challenges that can be uh, done or to uh, what are the challenges that we have to take note of if we are to consider electronics in the said um, study uh, in order for it to be improved or for have if in order for it to have a multidisciplinary collaboration because uh, basically uh, the topic has something to do with uh, something to do with a uh, chemical more, it's more on the field of chemical engineering and if we are to integrate electronics engineering in the set study what are the things that we need to consider in order for it to be improved Uh, were you able to understand my question, sir? Sorry. Yes. Um, I'm trying to ask uh, what are the things that we need to consider or what are the challenges that we need to consider if we are to integrate electronics engineering in the said field or in the said study? Since your study has something to do with carbon dioxide in the chemical field, so how are we going to consider electronics engineering in the said study so that we'll be able to have a multidisciplinary um, collaboration and to in order for it to be improved in the near future Sorry. あ、えっと。この、この研究は、あ、電子工学 このプレゼンテーションを科学的なんだけど、なんかこう電子工学部と能力したいならあ、これを伝えたいなら何が必要なんですか？うん。ああ。チェリンチェリンジとかなんか難しいところも何かありますかえそうですねうんあいどんのザディテルエクトリックエンジニアリング I think the uh, so this name is, uh, mm, I think the uh, 
えー、っと。Uh, apparatus for measuring、uh, the CO2 concentration and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, look,、uh, measuring the uh, uh, production produced in carbon dioxide utilization.、Uh, I think so.、Um, sorry, I don't、um, know the detail. Electron, electron engineers. I think. I understand. It's okay, sir.、Um, because what I'm, trying to,、uh, what I'm trying to ask right now is so that、um, since your study has something to do with chemical engineering and has something to do with carbon dioxide,、um, we would like to help in the betterment or to improve or to develop more on your study in the field of electronics engineering. Since I am a faculty of、um, Uh, St. Louis University under the electronics engineering department. And we would like to, to look into your study so that we could further improve it. That's why I'm asking what are the things that you need to consider. Perhaps maybe you need some sens sensors or some machines in order for you to be able to have a better capture of carbon dioxide, perhaps. Or, what are the things that you need to,、uh, to take note of so that we'll be able to improve better on your study? But I understand if you're not able,、uh, you don't have the details as of the moment.、Uh, maybe we could do a further research on this. And I appreciate your topic, it's very relevant and very helpful、uh, in the field of engineering. Thank you, sir. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Gandhi.、Uh, nice question. So, this is uh, uh, asked about the、uh, contribution from other fields to this、uh, system, to this technology. I think it's very nice if we make、uh, some collaboration related to、uh, this, this specific, we, we combine with another、uh, field, not only in the chemical, chemical engineering, but also in Uh, electronic or automation or something、uh, field. Okay, uh, nice. Uh, 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 are there any questions? Any question? No? <laughs>、um, Okay, if there is no, still no question, I, I ask about uh, uh, this current technology, Prof. Umeki. So, this current technology.、Um, uh, how about the efficiency of this technology, of, the car, of, the, of this、uh, carbon? You can explain about this? About the efficiency of this technology to capture uh, uh, carbon dioxide? Do you have、uh, data or some information about the efficiency of this technology to capture、uh, carbon dioxide? And do you have? I don't know. 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 この技術の効率、効率。そうそう、それあどのくらいですかあ
in chemical absorption uh, with aqueous amine solution, uh, amine molecule. Uh, uh, can you see my presentation file? Yes. Okay. I can see. Uh, in uh, for uh, chemical reaction of carbon dioxide with aqueous amine solution. Uh, Efficiency is uh, the mole fraction is one to one. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, this reaction uh, uh, efficiency of this reaction is two to one. Uh, I mean to carbon dioxide, as shown in reaction mechanism in this. So, uh, so, 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 Stoichiometry, but uh, the more fraction of hydroxys is uh, more uh, is one uh, carbon dioxide to amine. This uh, more fraction in the case of tertiary amine. The more fraction of um, one uh, stoic chemical. So, so uh, in the case of chemical absorption, the amount of absorbed carbon dioxide is a more fraction of, of about one. But uh, the physical absorption more fraction is uh, uh, near Near, near infinite, but uh, but uh, uh, now uh, and, uh, I I have detailed data of physical absorption of carbon dioxide. Sorry. Okay, um, thank you. Um, so it's mean that this is uh, there are two uh, method for uh, absorption. This chemical and physical absorption. This right. Yeah. And uh, the physical is uh, better than uh, chemical absorption. This 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 right. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, Based on your 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 side, uh, I see this uh, physical absorption still grows, and then uh, for a chemical uh, absorption uh, methods, uh, this uh, grows until uh, uh, what's it? This uh, saturated or uh, steady state condition and flat become flat, not increase. Okay. Uh, can we say that? Can we say that? The physical better than chemical or uh, case by case. Case by case. Yeah. Uh, 
this moment. Uh, is, uh, the concentration of um, a carbon dioxide concentration is 30 to 50 percent is produced in chemical plant. In this case, uh, the fiscal absorption is better. But the carbon dioxide concentration is 7 to 40 percent in thermal power station. In this case, low uh, CO2 carbon, uh, carbon dioxide concentration, um, the chemical absorption is better. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, any questions from participant? You still have time? You have a question? No question? Okay, uh, yeah, if there is no question. And then uh, I will uh, uh, a bit summarize about the presentation uh, from Prof. Umeki. That's uh, Prof. Umeki uh, explain about the uh, technology of uh, carbon capture and utilization. Uh, he explained about the fundamental properties of carbon uh, carbon dioxide and also the, the uh, capture of the carbon dioxide is physical and also chemical uh, methods for capture uh, carbon dioxide and uh, it's also he said uh, he explained about the challenge of the technology and and uh, uh, how to utilize the technology and uh, also he explained about the some uh, application of this technology to uh, particle production and also cholesterol extraction, heat pump, and uh, yeah, some application of this technology in uh, industry. So this is nice, nice topic, and also from uh, participant for from Mr. Sandy, uh, us about the collaboration. Yeah, we hope uh, after this uh, webinar, after this lecture, uh, we can create some uh, collaboration from uh, Japan, Indonesia, or uh, Philippines, or some uh, country related to this technology to improve and also to uh, make better the technology uh, from not only from chemical uh, aspect or chemical field and also from uh, electronic material uh, multidisciplinary uh, research. Okay, thank you uh, again from uh, Prof. Umeki for your nice presentation and for your sharing and uh, Thank you very much. Tomo uh, arigato gozaimasita. Thank you. And uh, time to uh, Miss uh, Reni. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Agung. Uh, thank and thank you very much for Professor Umeki for the excellent session for today. Uh, can we give applause to uh, Associate Prof. Umeki and Dr. Agung, uh, by, uh, by using the Zoom reaction feature for today's amazing session. Okay, and then uh, furthermore, we would like to present a certificate awarding to Associate Professor Tatsuya Omeki as our speaker, and also to Dr. Agung Purniawan as our moderator for today.
you. Thank you. Yeah, most welcome, uh, Prof. Ted Suya Umeki and Dr. Agung Purniawan. And okay, before we end uh, today's session, we invite you all participants as well as the honorable speaker and moderator to take a group photo. So for the participant, please open your camera. Okay. Uh, and for Mbak Hanifa, are you ready to uh, take a screenshot for our session for today? I will count until three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, and next page. One, two, three. Okay, uh, and page. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, okay, right. Uh, perfect. Okay, we've taken a group photo. Uh, then for the participant, please fill the feedback, uh, feedback form through the link, uh, bit.ly slash feedback GLS that you can also see on the Zoom chat room. Finally, we have reached the end of today's global uh, GLS SDGs. We sincerely apologize for any mistakes uh, we may have made in presenting as our uh, as master ceremony and committee. Once again, thank you very much for Associate Prof. Tatsuya Umeki, Dr. Agung Purniawan, and all participants for the attention and cooperation. And we will see you in the next session with the theme electro Electrochemical Energy Conversi Conversion System util Utilizing Bio-Related Catalyst that will be delivered by Prof. Masato Tominaga, uh, also from Saga University, Japan, for next week. So don't forget to join with us. And for all, good evening and uh, stay safe, everyone. Once again, thank you very much, Associate Professor Tatsuyomeki, Dr. Agung Furniawan, for the excellent uh, session for today. Thank you. And also, Dr. Octavianti, Dr. Owen, thank you so much. Thank you, Marini. Yeah. Thank you, Pak Agung. Okay, Thank uh, you, Umeki Sensei. Thank you. Thank you. And also, uh, big uh, thanks to Mbak Nur Latifa to be a translator for today. And uh, allow me uh, as a MC to end this session in five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, everyone, and see you next week. Bye. Bye, thank you.